A triumphant return for Bellator MMA to Torino, Italy, a year in the making. And tell you what, this one didn't last nearly that long. That's right, Koulibaly versus Nika. Nika, we knew he had the submission advantage. We didn't know it would be this pronounced or this early. On the ground here, able to fight, get on top, and get the anaconda choke still dry, still fresh, and that was all it took. First minute, first round. 36 seconds a win for Mahel Nika, putting his name on the list with a 6-0 and start. Last time we saw Valerio Machera, he almost upset Gochi Yamauchi. He didn't make mistake this time. That's right, Machera showed a lot of versatility in this fight where his superiority was really evident was on the ground he wins a majority decision victory to improve to 14 and 4 Anastasia Yankova got bullied a little bit on social media this week she took it out on the 18 year old Alina Kalyanidu yeah she was definitely the bully in the cage always moving forward always trapping Kalyanidu against the fence using her size advantage her strength advantage to rough her up on the feet and on the ground Kalyanidu had her moments but could never get her offense going and Yankova wins a unanimous decision victory she goes to 5-0 11 months of controversy 11 months of Sympathy towards Melvin Madhoff trying to become a world champion at the age of 40. Rafael Carvalho heard every word of it and took advantage of the opportunity to demonstrate who is the true world champion. He wanted to show the rest of the world who's the best in Bellator at 185. Most of this fight on the feet or against the fence. It was Carvalho who was the aggressor landing the effective strikes and then late in round four this head kick. Bang! Right on the jaw. It is over by knockout. No controversy this time. A championship finish in a championship win.